If you happen to see this trim little buggy zoom up and quickly swing into a tight parking spot, you'll be looking at a remarkable new car, the Davis three-wheeler. With four seated comfortably, it takes off. Streamlined as a plane is this unique creation with designer Gary Davis at the wheel. Built in Southern California, it logically incorporates several aircraft principles, such as adaptation of the tricycle landing gear system. A switch on the dashboard operates built-in hydraulic jacks and makes tire changing an exhilarating experience. The single front wheel explains the car's parking dexterity and keeps it on an even keel in the event of a blowout, even at a top speed of 115 miles an hour. There are no fenders, wrap-around steel bumpers protect removable body panels. This little chariot can really run you around in circles. What's the trouble, Gary? Uh-oh, a modern Frankenstein. Mankind has always been amazed by the future. The latest advancements, the newest releases, the latest phone or device, said to make life more convenient. But man does not normally concern himself with the dangers of so-called forward thinking. Me? I guess I'm backwards like that. I'm still using a flip phone. And if something's new, I'm generally not interested. You see, Satan has always known this weakness in man and soon his efforts will bear fruit in the lives of many who have been deceived by his tactics. Ezekiel 33.6 But if the watchman see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come, and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. What we do when we make and share these videos, this is required work. The Heavenly Father has given many among us a special gift of eyes to see danger, a mind that can see the tools of the enemy. These watchmen on the wall warn but do people listen? Even now, as we warn of coming danger, do you hear us and prepare? Before we begin the feature presentation brought to you by our brother Neftelli, uh, let me tell a quick story. I remember back when I was working at the Sands Casino back in 2005 or about that time, there was a national truckers convention came around every year about the same time and I remember I rode the elevator with the association president and I asked him how did he feel about the successful trial run of the new automated semi truck right there on the elevator I drew him a picture and he told me he didn't know anything about it while surprised that I did he didn't seem too worried or take my conversation for the warning that it was meant to be. I'd like to share with you now a special video that's made by uh, our brother Neftali 1981 on YouTube and pay close attention because this warning is very detailed and systematic the way he breaks it down. He put great work into this into the making of this video and it should paint a picture that I hope all will receive. Also if any of you out there are prayer warriors, the brother could use some prayers. He's been going through some tough times and his wife is dealing with some health issues at the, at the moment. I'd also like to send out a special thanks to some of the other watchmen in our community. Please pay attention to them. They try to keep you aware of the troubled times which we are in now. When I think of a controlled demolition, for me at least, 
most obvious example was 9-11. Now I know that could be debated, everyone has their different theories, but it just never made sense to me how those towers falling caused tower number seven to fall. None of that made any sense to me. Yeah. This just in, you are looking at we have a obviously news story very disturbing line shot there. there. That is the now, World Trade Center and we have just done unconfirmed reports this morning. Some sort of explosion, explosion crash. As we come on now, we have serious news of a major and very tragic story. It's incredible. The plane crashed into the World Trade Center. I just heard a loud boom. Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. The police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. The entire building has just collapsed as if a demolition team set off when you see the old demolitions of these old buildings it My pulled God. it down on itself and it is oh not there God. anymore wow. that should be it it Thanks has much, completely Dan. collapsed the whole side has collapsed the whole building has collapsed the whole building has collapsed the building has collapsed that's the southern tower you're talking exactly. about exactly the second building that we witnessed the airplane enter had been the top half had been as if a demolition team set off when you see the old demolitions of these old buildings it My pulled God. it down on itself and it is when you see the old demolitions of these old buildings it My pulled God. it down on itself and it is not there anymore and when you look at a controlled demolition what is the purpose of a controlled demolition part of the purpose is to have control of how that building comes down you see they, they want the building to come down but they want to make sure that it come down on their terms you see because while they want that building to come down there's something else being set up there are designers there are engineers already drafting the new tower that will replace that building that was destroyed you've heard of the great reset this channel has spoken on that for a long time. Many other channels have done the same. I don't think it will play out how most people think it's going to play out. And I also do believe that while this current system is being controlled, but it's being demolished. Another one is rising ripe within our myths. And just as with Nimrod, a new tower is being built and this tower will enslave us and will put us in a position that if you do not know Jesus Christ, you will think that this tower, you will think that this system that is rising is going to be a benefit. It's going to be full of conveniences and it's going to be good for you. However, what you do not understand is that the current economic system, the current economic tower that is being built right now is based on machine learning and algorithms that do not have your best interest at heart. We'll deal with that next week, but the one thing that you need to realize is that we have fed this system for the last 10 to 15 years with the data that it needs to understand how historically humans will react to catastrophes, will react to pandemics, will react to needs, will react to greed, will react to weather events. It knows everything about us to the stage that all you have to do is look at your own life and see how much you rely on that device that's called a cell phone. As Elon Musk said, so confidently and so cocky. He said that we're already cyborgs and we just don't really know it. It's kind of like how much smarter are you with a phone or computer than without? It's you're vastly smarter, actually. You know, you can answer any question. If you, if you connect to the internet, you can answer any question pretty much instantly, any calculation, uh, that your phone's memory is essentially perfect. Uh, you can remember flawlessly, your phone can remember videos, pictures, any, everything perfectly. Uh, that's the, that your phone is already an extension of you. You're already a cyborg. You don't even, well most people don't realize they are already a cyborg. 
it, that phone is an extension of yourself. The new tower that is rising is one that is going to lead the day and the stage where just as in Revelation 13, 16, and 17 tells you, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, it will know what you buy, it will know what you sell, it will know what you trade. And it's pretty clear that regardless of your social class, regardless of how free you think that you are, it clearly tells you in verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this system is built, prepared, and ready to be deployed, and the people are ready to accept it as something awesome. So what, what's the microchip do to the people that purchase them? Like, how do they work for the average day person? Uh, well, we'll release the nanobots for, to take over the neural cortex, and then I run them from my PlayStation. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. yeah. uh, I guess just create a seamless, friction-free, everyday lifestyle. I mean, I have to look for my keys, my wallet, my... My this, that, uh, if I get my gym card in my bag, when I change bags, you know, I, I get to pay a fine, a two-year-old fine if I don't want my card. So now I'll get, now I'll get it in my chip implant instead. Uh, entrance to the office, I get an entrance to the gym, I de deactivate and activate the alarm. Uh, I do the, do the shopping for a, for a drink with the microchip. That little sequence alone has saved me maybe minute and what do you think of it i mean i forget all my stuff because i'm fairly limited fairly limited because i'm a human being of course there's ways to train your memory and jog your memory i can write post-its and put all my stuff in the same place all the time but i forget to do that as well so having everything <laughs> stuck in my hand at all times makes my life very simple and just as with the 9-11 towers, when you saw that controlled demolition, or if you believe that it was just the Muslims that came and just crashed into it, however you think it was, something just wasn't right about the whole story. Regardless of each side, all have holes and all have something that just doesn't smell the right way. But at the very least, can you agree that what's happening right now, none of this makes any sense. Extremely tough, Brianna. We are seeing rental, record rental prices across the United States, no more so than here in the state of Florida. Miami seeing a 58% increase on rent on average in just the last two years. That is pricing Floridians out of their homes and into this extremely competitive rental market. Lists and lists and lists. Laura Gilmain and her daughter Carson have 30 days to find a new home. How many properties do you think you've explored? Thousands. Thousands. For three years, Gilmain has been paying $2,100 a month for this three bedroom in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. But last month, she got a letter from her landlord. Due to unforeseen circumstances, her new rent, $3,200 a month. Thank you. Well, sky high food prices and people in the farming and ranching industry say it's only going to get worse. A nine on your sides. Brian Brennan has more on ranching costs continuing to rise across the country and in southern Arizona. Everyone is feeling the pain from the price of gasoline, but it's diesel that could end up costing you more at the grocery store. The cost of everything is going up, and that includes what ranchers need to pay for. The hay prices have gone up, um, double the hay prices, and it looks like it's going to continue to go up even more. But we do begin with New York City declaring a state of emergency over the nationwide baby formula shortage. The order empowers the city to prevent price gouging as inventory declines. The move comes as help is starting to arrive. Today, the first military cargo plane from Europe arrived, packed with enough formula for half a million bottles. The precious cargo, which is intended only for children who are allergic to cow's milk protein, will be distributed to hospitals. Some of it will also be available in stores to parents who have a prescription. Jim Brown Robbins has been in the mechanic industry for 38 years, but this is the first time he's seen a crisis like this. 
never have I seen a part shortage like we're having now. Allied Service Center in Spring Valley is just one of many repair shops waiting for car parts to come in amid a global auto part shortage. Then I think what needs to be done, and I recommended this to the Wall Street Journal and they editorialized it this morning, and that is to put together an, inter -co uh, an international coalition of warships led by the United States, not just focused on NATO. We want the international community involved here. So Russia is not pointing a finger at NATO and the United States. This is a global humanitarian relief operation that we would be conducting with those warships. We stay in international waters, never leaving it, and go to the port of Odessa and let the ships obviously pick up the grain that needs to be picked up and then escort them out. There is some demining that would have to be done. A, a, a bit different, Joe. This is about the supply chain and the historic trucker shortage, which is now at 80,000. Now, there's new data out from MIT. They say that long haul truckers, really the backbone of the U.S. freight network, they lose about 40 percent of the hours they can drive every day because they're waiting for loads. They're sitting in traffic or because of weather. Again, that's because of new MIT data. And that's just one factor creating this historic trucker shortage again, which now sits at 80,000, according to the American Trucking Association. Um, <clears throat> We're really headed for a bad situation if, if we can't get this fixed. Talking with truck drivers Thursday in Hagerstown, there is a real sense of worry over the possibility of diesel shortages. As an older operator, he might have to stop driving at all and he might have to go work for something else. Uh, we don't know. We might all be on unemployment. According to several trade publications, diesel supplies on the East Coast are now the lowest in almost 20 years. The pilot Flying J Company confirmed for 11 News that there are supply issues right now in several markets they serve. Writing in a statement, quote, we are aware of concerns over diesel supply in specific markets across the United States. Well, Fenway Park has now gotten the OK to go cashless. On Monday, the state attorney general, Maura Healey, said that she was investigating if Fenway Park's new cashless policy was legal. The Red Sox debuted cashless concessions this season, and they installed some kiosks to convert cash into debit cards that could be used. Do we have a central bank digital coin out there in the world? that is being utilized on a daily basis, whether it's wholesale or retail, and it becomes a superior system. Yes or no? uh, we have several experiments which are not very far from that. No. They're not yet generalized, but they could be, let's say, in the next three years, probably. It will go quicker on the wholesale side, yes. I guess, because it raises that? less sensitive questions. Yes, mm. Axel. Mm. No, I'm quite I'm glad to hear what you're saying. Uh, from they're masters at creating a problem. If you look at the supply chain issues that we have all around us, do you remember when all the mandates were happening? Where a lot of truck drivers were simply not allowed to be able to deliver goods because of the mandates. And then they say, oh, supply chain issues. No, it's, it's an issue with the people that control the supply chain. You see, when you go to the grocery store, you may see a lot of different brands of cereal. You may see a lot of different brands of drinks, but in reality, there are very few owners of the actual things that you buy and purchase. Food supply as a whole is a monopoly, and the ones that control the supply chain either do not want it to succeed or are ignorantly behaving in a way that is going to control their demise. Now you have shortages of that fluid called DEF where now truck drivers are in a position that they may not be able to deliver goods. So if it's not a mandate, now it's something else. It's almost as if they want it to fail. It's almost as if once it fails, they're ready to deploy the automation that will drive many of you, whether you want to or not, to have to be into that system, to have to buy into that system that new tower that is being built. Because if you notice, Walmart is already deploying drones. Amazon is already deploying drones. In today's Tech Bytes, Walmart expands its drone delivery program. The retailer is upping the number of stores offering the service, now planning to reach 4 million households. Walmart is hoping to have drone deliveries in six states by the end of the year. And those truck drivers that are amazing, they do such a hard work for this country and for many other countries all around the world, they're about to be replaced with automation. 
Can you see now that if they were just to come out and tell you the truth, how easily this building would crumble, how easily this economy would crumble, but they can't. They have to pretend that, oh, what happened? How, how could that have happened? Shortages? How could it be? Oh, you think you're saying it was us with the mandates? Oh, we didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Imagine looking in your rearview mirror and seeing this 70,000 pound 18 wheeler behind you without anyone at the wheel. Well, we are pretty much there because this truck is driving itself. Aurora Innovation already has autonomous trucks like this one cruising the highway, just with a babysitter at the wheel. At Aurora, we're building a self-driving technology. Sensors track what's going on around the truck, and an onboard computer not only drives, it does so as politely as possible so it won't freak out anyone else on the road. It's a combination of hardware, software, and data services that allows us essentially operate vehicles autonomously. These trucks all share a common robot brain, and that brain has driven five million real-world miles. Every time one truck drives, they all get smarter. So it really understands the world based on all of the experiences that it's been through. So whatever we're likely to see, I was going to say bump into, that's not the right word. No, no, no. no. no will be, in theory, something that it has encountered either in the real world or in simulation. Or something similar. You have baby formula shortages for crying out loud. Come on, people. Now you have meat shortages that you go to the grocery store and meat is just expensive everywhere. And then that's gonna lead towards more lab-grown meat. More lab-grown meat and they'll tell you to stop killing the cow, stop killing this. And you know, if you don't like a burger, why you gotta make a fake burger look like a burger, man? That doesn't make any sense to me. This salmon filet didn't come from the sea. It was grown in a lab to look just like the real thing. There are a lot of questions that people have. Number one question is, what does it taste like? Salmon is one of the most popular fish in the U.S. And it usually comes from massive farms like this, which can cause all kinds of environmental problems. Growing it from cells might one day offer an alternative. That's never made any sense to me, how you don't like a steak, but you're going to make a fake thing that looks like a steak. Why don't you be creative? Make something else. Make it a, make it, I don't, why? You don't like chicken nuggets, but you're going to make fake chicken nuggets. That's like a woman who says, I don't like men, but you go find another woman that talks like a man, walks like a man, eats like a man, has rugged hands like a man, butch like a man. I thought you didn't like men. Oh, but you're going to find someone who acts like a man, right? Same thing with this. You have grain shortages. You have drought everywhere. Things aren't growing like they used to. So you're starting to see that aside from their controlled demolition, that something is happening. And that's something that's happening, in my personal opinion, has a lot to do with judgment that I want to bring into this conversation. Aren't you noticing that seeds aren't growing like they once used to grow? Aren't you noticing that rain is it falling like it once used to fall? Aren't you noticing that if they want crops to grow, they have to use CRISPR-Cas9 to then grow that crop and then they have to use cloud seeding to be able to feed and nurture that crop. Don't you notice that animals are now having to be tainted? DNAs have to be spliced and artificially created because it's almost as if creation is groaning and it's almost as if they don't want you to really open your eyes and see what really is happening here. And what's happening here is that Jesus Christ is at the door and Satan understands and knows that his time is short. And as his time is short, he realizes that there are true believers out there that are willing to stand in the gap and that are willing to do like Daniel. You see, in the days of Daniel, they understood that Daniel was a person who had conviction of God. In Daniel 6, 5, you see, then said these men, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. And I'm not saying that this is predicting what is going to come, but you understand how the devil operates, just like you see with Nimrod and the tower in the days of Noah and the days of the pre-flood world. Satan is not creative when it comes to these things. It's the same old story. There's nothing new. There's nothing new. 
and the algorithms that are being established with this new tower with this new building that is being erected when i say a new building that is being erected it's the new economic system of what is going to come make no mistake about it babylon is going to fall but while we get to that stage you're noticing mastercard already using biometrics paying with your face paying with a wave of your hand you may not have to grab your wallet or phone to pay when you go to a checkout in future that's because Mastercard has rolled out a new way of paying a bill, and it's with your face. The US finance giant's biometric checkout program uses the same technology that already unlocks your phone. AJ Bala is president of cyber and intelligence at Mastercard. It's a cool new technology which allows consumers to pay with a smile, their face, or just wave. Uh, so you can forget the clunkiness of taking your wallet out or your devices out or cards out. Uh, you just do your shopping, you go to the checkout and just pay with your face. It's as simple as that. The idea of biometric pay raises obvious privacy questions. Mastercard said it had given apps a set of standards they must comply with to keep security and privacy safe. You're seeing conversations of the human being being hacked. You're seeing, you're seeing how slowly what was once a convenience of you going to the store and just tapping your card. The convenience of you going to the store and paying with your phone. The next evolution in technology is going to be that you will become that next mobile device. That you will become that new computer. Because Satan understands that his time is short and you must realize that Satan is not omnipresent. Satan is a defeated foe, and I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. And as much as they want to have control of what is happening, Satan knows that his time is short, and he cannot control what is going to come. It is all crumbling, and it is all falling apart right before their very eyes, and this is why you see everything moving at such a rapid pace to take us to a stage that since Satan is not omnipresent, he wants to be able to know everything about us. He wants to be able to track everything about us. So this is why you're seeing such a huge push with technology. But they're going to sell you on the benefits. And they'll tell you with biometrics, we'll be able to combat pandemics because we'll be able to see who's sick, what population is actually turning ill before it actually spreads and we can control the population and diseases all over the world. With biometrics and machine learning and AI working together, we'll be able to supply all of the needs for all of the society and supply chain will no longer be an issue. And this will enable a new green world, a green economy, where, according to them, quote-unquote, Mother Earth will not suffer, when that's a lie and new age all to itself. With biometrics, they'll be able to combat terrorism. With biometrics, they'll be able to come together as one, the whole world, to live in a utopia, where no one has any needs. But what they don't tell you is that it's not a utopia, it's an enslavement camp. Many experiments have been conducted like this in the projects, okay? None of this is new, all right? They've ran tests, even on rats, they've ran tests. John B. Calhoun, he ran over 25 different quote-unquote universes of rats where they would supply everything that they needed. And eventually, it led to their demise. Sometimes people think that all you need is an asteroid to come and destroy humanity. World War III will destroy us all. Not really. These fallen angels know they know full and well how to manipulate the human brain. They know full and well how to destroy society. They know full and well what they're doing, but the people are so ignorant just like these rats that they allowed themselves to be at a point that yes, all of their quote unquote needs were taken care of them. But when you see what happened at the end of those experiments, what was once a utopia where every, every single one of their needs was there, quickly turned into something demonic. And this is how these people operate. And I want you to leave this video encouraged. I know that what I said may not be encouraging, but I'm here to encourage you. 
and remind you that as this system is being demolished, the current day economic system that you and I know it's pretty much being destroyed, that there is a God that is calling upon you and your family to be bold just like Daniel. Because in Daniel 7.25, we see that Satan is wearing out the saints. And we see that happening right now. Many of you are extremely worn out already. But we also see in Daniel 6.10, Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his window being open in his chamber towards Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he, as he did aforetime. You know, we're in a day and age where, as I mentioned, the devil is very crafty. And these algorithms that are being built, they don't have your best interest at heart. And when I say algorithms, I'm talking about algorithms and automation that is going to replace the current day police day system that you know it. Okay, a police officer with a conscience will be replaced by a machine. A machine that they'll sell it as this. Uh, it won't need vacation time. It won't need anything. That's until they start giving robots actual citizenships, which is something that they have planned. And then that'll lead towards actual humans marrying robots at some point. If we get to that point, because I'm telling you, these are things that they are already thinking. Okay. But these algorithms will not have our best interest at heart. And when that comes into play, will you be like Daniel? I pray that you are. And I pray that you will. You know, we can prepare for these moments by buying extra food. We can prepare with these moments by being wise with our investments, by, by making sound decisions. All of that is awesome. And well, and it's something that you should consider to make sure that your family is in a good spot. But what about spiritually? Are we prepared to endure until the end? Are we prepared to be at a point that when everything starts coming together as they have planned, and we are at a point, things rise up against us. Are we ready and prepared to say, I choose Jesus Christ. My family chooses Jesus Christ. He is the only way. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence today asking that you give us the boldness to be able to live for you asking you to give us the strength to be able to depend on you rely on you trust upon your work be obedient to your commandments even when machine learning even when algorithms even when ai rises up against them understand that you're our provider that even when we're at a point where automation kicks in and our employments are taken away and they offer certain things such as universal basic income or different methods such as that, but these, but these worldly provisions that may be provided by Babylon come with different restrictions that are against your word. Allow us to be strong when these days come. Um, allow us to be strong when these days arise. And allow us to be at a point, spiritually speaking, to understand and remind ourselves every single day that the angel of the Lord encampeth upon them that fear him and delivereth them. Reminding us daily, Heavenly Father, that just as in the days of Noah, there is no new thing under the sun. There is nothing being done in 2022 that wasn't tried in the pre-flood world and that didn't conquer and that failed and that was judged and that was defeated. There's nothing being tried in 2022 that hasn't been tried by Nimrod. Yet that didn't work and that tower didn't succeed. Satan will not succeed. He is a defeated foe, and I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you going through a difficult moment today? Are you going through a day that is just really, really rough? You're anxious, you're depressed, you're frustrated. Things just aren't working out as you thought they would work out. As we're praying right now, remember that God withholds no good thing from you. None none that means that if you seek the kingdom of god all of the rest of the things that he feels are needed for you will be added it's not what you want it's what he feels are needed for your life so that you can live a godly life for him trust in him today allow him to heal you to refresh you and to set you free he loves you in jesus name amen may god bless you uh, 
thanks for passing by enjoyed the video consider uh, checking out the other videos on the channel and um, please take five or ten seconds press the share button and send it to someone via text or share it on Facebook or share it wherever you want to share it because these videos get buried in the algorithm and uh, they don't go anywhere at that point I love you guys very much and I um, pray that you guys have an awesome week okay um, and as always none of this is anything new but it's always good to recap and to remember that as the world continues to act like the world for you not to forget God's the same yesterday today and forever and he's already won he's already won all right so smile be encouraged and uh, see you next week God bless you thank you for all that you do by the way thank you for your support God bless you